What's going on, good people out there in YouTube land and BGOE, Black Donuts in Education? This is Jeffrey Howell coming to you from beautiful Jacksonville, Florida once again. Now today, I wanna to talk about something when dealing with firearms that is very near and dear to my heart. Now, this is not gonna be one of those extravagant videos talking about a drill or talking about the latest gun. No, I wanna go back to where it all begins for us firearm owners, and that's the basics and the fundamentals when it comes to the four rules of gun safety. So we all know what the four rules of gun safety are, right? Rule number one, treat all guns as if they are always loaded. Rule number two, never let the muzzle cover or rather your gun point at anything that you're not willing to destroy. Rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on target and you have made the decision to shoot, all right? And rule number four, be sure of your target and what's behind it or beyond it you hear all the time. So let's dig into um, rule number one. Rule number one, treat all guns if they're always loaded. So, what that means is, even for a fact that you know a firearm is unloaded, right? You will still treat it as if it is loaded. That means you wouldn't point at anything that you do not wish to destroy, right? You do not intend to kill. You keep your finger still straight and off the trigger, right? And you'll, be, and, and you'll make sure that you keep it pointed. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at the gun I have right here. This is my Sig Sauer P229. Make sure it's safe. All right, let me lock, lock, let me lock my, my slide to the rear, and let's take a look. Is there any round in there? And we can see for a fact that there is no round inside this chamber, right? But remember, I now know it's safe, right? So I can treat it as if it's a safe weapon. Or should I still continue with the number one rule? Well, I think for myself that I will continue to stick with the number one rule. Because let's say, for example, that I actually grabbed a weapon. I pick it up. Say, say I put it down, right? Put it down. Gun is out of my hands, right? I picked the gun back up. Remember, we already checked and made sure that this gun was safe and clear. So, let me take my slide forward. Take my slide forward. Let me, let me just point down range. And let me just take, see if it's gonna shoot. Remember, there's no round in the chamber, right? So I'm gonna still treat it as if it's a loaded weapon. Why? That's the reason right there. You always treat every firearm as if it's loaded, always. Now, of course, I know y'all not stupid. For emphasis of my point, I, I slyly tried my best to sneak around in there. And I put a magazine inside, inside the, uh, the magazine well and, and, uh, and I racked a uh, chamber around. So, but I want to drive on the point that you always shoot every farm if, 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 it, if it was loaded, all right? All right. Let's go to safety rule number two. Never let the muzzle cover rather the gun point at anything that you're not willing to destroy. We don't play these games. May, I'm quite sure many of you have already seen the video of the two guys at the gun range and the guys are taking selfies. And so the one guy pointed, the, pointed his gun at his friend and tried to take a selfie and the RSO, the range safety officer, stopped him immediately and kicked him off the range. You don't play those type of games. You'll see all the time that neg negligent discharges happen. You'll see all the time where people playing around will actually get shot because, for one, they, treated, they didn't treat the firearm as if it was a, a loaded weapon and played with it, and then they're going to go point it at something that they're not willing to destroy. The whole time I'm talking right now, the firearm is in my hand. But I'm not pointing it anywhere except downrange where I know the target is, even though I've got the slide locked to the rear. And back to show you again, there's no round in the chamber. I will not point this weapon anywhere except in a safe manner. So I'm not going to point anywhere except at anything I want to destroy or kill. So that's rule number two. Now let's go to rule number three. Rule number three is keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on target and you have made the decision to shoot. Why is that so important? Well, when you say keep your finger straight off the trigger, this is what we're talking about. Keep it straight off the trigger. A lot of times you see folks, they do, they do this, where it's right on the trigger, trigger guard, rather. I don't even like doing that. I take it up one step further and take it, take it up, up uh, just above the, the, the slide of the body here. Why? Well, I'm clumsy. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. I'm clumsy as, I, as all can be. Now, let's say that I'm walking my weapon and I happen to slip and fall and stumble. Once again, our bodies react quicker than we do sometimes without, without even thinking. If my finger's right here, the next logical place for my finger to go is going to bring you right into that trigger well, into the trigger guard, right? But if I keep it up here, first thing my, my finger's going to do is going to slide down a little bit and I have time to react to keep my finger from going that trigger guard, into the, um, the trigger guard. So, that's why I say maintain your finger straighten off the trigger until you made the decision to shoot. 
That is very important. You'll see folks all the time want to be want to be, want to look gangster. They put their finger inside the trigger well and all that and hold on to the trigger and so forth. That's not cool. Once again, remember that muscle memory. If you do it all the time, you'll be safe and you'll prevent mishaps from happening. Now, is it going to stop it all together? No. Mishaps are going to happen here and there. There's some things we just can't can't can't, you know, can't over over oversee or prevent, but it will alleviate a lot of it or rather decrease the chance of one happening. All right? So let's go to the last rule, the fourth and final rule. Be sure of your target and what is behind it. And I go one step further and say what's beyond it. You take a look right now. I am at a professional range, right? This, this is developed. And you look back there, this is where the steel plates are. You can see there's a backstop, a sand mound. You see there's, there's uh, concrete walls next to me. So me shooting down range, I know it's beyond my target. So it's not going to go anywhere, except at that backstop, which is a bunch of dirt and, I'm, uh, and, and, and possibly something else back there to keep it from I'm going further. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, what, what else they've got behind that dirt. But maybe the dirt itself may be enough. I don't know. I'm not professional in this. But I will say this much. The reason that we say that is because it's for multiple reasons. Reason number one, let's say that you want to go out into the woods somewhere and shoot. Primary example is to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're shooting out there and make sure that where, where, where your bullet is going to hit at, that once it penetrates whatever the target is, that it can't go no further in order to damage or injure or even kill someone. So that's why that's very important as well. So on the even more extreme side, let's think about if a SHTF, y'all know what that means, stuff is the fan. And you have to make the decision whether to shoot or not. You have to think right then and there. You're, think about it. You're on your target, right? As you look at your target, there's civilians, innocent civilians around you. Is it possible that your, that your round can go through your target and injure somebody innocent? Very well. That's why I'll go one step further to say even what's around your, your, your target as well. So that's why, it does, that's why it's very important to understand the rules of firearm safety and keep them ingrained in your brain. Because this lifestyle that we're in, this is not something that you know that you can just walk away from if something happens. Say, say, this is, this is life and death a lot of times. These are limbs we're talking about. So this is very serious. So anytime you see anyone that's not taking it serious, you need to correct that. I mean, in the most kindest manner, but you definitely need to correct folks that, that don't take this lifestyle serious and, and, and ignore the things that can possibly keep them safe and others around them safe as well. So we just went through the four rules of gun safety. We said rule number one was treat all guns as if they are always loaded. All right? Rule number two. Never let the muzzle cover, gun point at, anything that you're not willing to destroy. Rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on target and that you've made the decision to shoot. And rule number four is, be sure of your target and what is behind it, and as I always say, beyond it and around it, all right? And always secure your guns from all unauthorized persons, okay? That's just a little caveat, but those four basic rules of, 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 of uh, gun safety will keep us safe and in a good manner, all right? So, I hope you learned something, and I hope, or rather, I hope I reminded you of something, so that we can stay safe out here in this culture that we love. Because this is a culture for a lot of us. This is a lifestyle for a lot of us. This is my hobby now. This is what I do when I when I don't have anything to do. I'm out here to range, so I enjoy it. And I'm quite sure if you're watching this video, that means that you enjoy it as well. So, let me get back to getting my shooting on out here and enjoying myself for my last uh, few moments. And y'all have a good one. And hopefully one day I'll be able to catch you out the range. Peace out, y'all.